What does John do? John, what do you do? I work for uh, Highway Baptist Church here in, well, in Westville. And yourself, uh, Mark? I'm with the Foreign Mission Board, Southern Baptist Convention. And uh, I'm, my assignment is here with the Natal Baptist Association as a uh, campus chaplain. Campus right, right, minister, right. Yes, uh, yes. Student minister. Yes, yes, Mark. Yes, sir. Yes. Well, that's a nice pleasure. So we are all in the same field. <laughs> I think so. But uh, we might have different goals, you know, uh, or the means of attaining them. I guess so. Different means of attending. Yes, it's a privilege for me to be honored with two giants of oh. the Christian <laughs> world. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know whether that. we... Yes. You may be the only person that would say that of us. <laughs> so we're giants. Yes. It's friend. certainly a privilege for us to be uh, with an uh, unquestionable giant of the Islamic world. <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, my office is open to all, at all times. Uh. Uh, actually, people don't make appointments, and I don't... I also don't make appointments, because then you tie yourself down. Uh, to me, anybody comes along there and says, right, what am I doing? Say, no, I'm having to let them come in. Welcome, welcome. Uh, yes. That's good. No, I'm entirely at your disposal. Good. Entirely at your disposal. Well, you, you said to me on the phone the other day that you, uh, you did see the, the tapes of when uh, my other friends were here. No, I didn't. See. I think my son must have told you that. Oh, is that your son? My son, yes. The young man. Okay. He's my son, yes. I see. He must have said, that. Yusuf, did that. So you didn't get the first word. Yusuf. 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 Yeah. Did that. So you got the word, did that. Yeah. Like yours, Mark, I'll catch the word, the name Mark, John, yeah. and the rest, of, yeah, now, you know, I have to think of Turner, yes, Turner. Yeah, okay. But now, again, this, it'll be difficult because I didn't hear a name like that before. Right. So this okay. is how the mind works, yes. Yeah. Yes, uh, Mark, I, what can I do for you? Well, my interest and in, uh, the interest uh, uh, maybe I need to give you some background on please, wh please, why I would please. be here. Either. Yes, yes, Mr. D. Dot. But yes. uh, two or three weeks ago now, while you were in uh, on your trip overseas, oh, it, yes. uh, we had a news correspondent who was here from. Um, uh, he lives in Nairobi, Kenya, but he works for the same foreign mission board that I work for. Right, right. We also had a photographer, and then right. one of their superiors were here. Right. They were interested in writing a story. Yes on the Islamic Propagation Center yes. and finding out if we could some of your methods of training and teaching and some of your goals and that kind of thing, not in any kind of way to expose for any kind of counterattack or any of that, but just because we're interested in the nuts and bolts of your very aggressive and uh, certainly very effective approach. I, I would say no, not aggressive. You say militant would be more <laughs> appropriate. Militant, yes. Okay, militant. Uh, uh. So like Jesus Christ. I said, you know, he was a very aggressive person, and according to the scriptures, calling people generation of wipers, you whited sepulchres, the wicked and adulterous generation. I said, it's terrible for a man of God talking like that. Uh, so I said, no. But now I would say, well, uh, according to your records, uh, he sounds very, very aggressive. Uh. And he's actually going out looking for trouble. Because when you call the leaders of your nation, the religious hierarchy, wicked and adulterous generation, even in common parlance, you know. So how you translate that? Mm -hmm. This is a wicked and adulterous generation. So it's terrible, terrible. You know, the man is actually uh, looking for a showdown. Mm -hmm. So if he gets what's coming to him, I say he deserves it. So, however, it's a militant. Militant, I think. Islam is militant. Mm -hmm. There's no apologies for that. You see, the Quran tells us to tell you and the Jews. Qul in Arabic means say, we are told to say, tell them. Ya Ahl al Kitab, so O people of the book, O Jews and Christians, La Taglufi Dinikum. says, do not go to extremes in your religion. In your religion, whatever you believe, don't go to extremes. Wala taqulu alallah illal haq. And don't say anything about God except the truth. Innam al-Masih, most certainly the Messiah, Jesus Christ. Isa ibn Maryam, Jesus the son of Mary, Rasulullah, is a messenger of God. Wa kalimatuhu, and a word proceeding from him. 
alqaha ila maryam wa ruhum minhum visi bistoda kon meri and a spirit proceeding from him fa aminu billahi wa rusulihi so believe in allah god almighty and his messenger jesus this is the true position that he is a mighty messenger of god he is the messiah believe in god and his messenger jesus so we are told to tell you both jews and christians don't go to extremes about jesus the jews in the talmud they say that because he had no earthly father actually they insinuate that a certain roman soldier by the name of pandera he raped mary have you come across that before no, i'm not familiar with that not familiar you read josh mcdowell uh no josh right now he has written a book further evidence that demands a verdict uh-huh he had the evidence that demands a verdict and then he wrote another one further evidence, further evidence yeah. and in that he quotes jewish talmud where they're calling jesus a bastard more than once is it yeah. that the bastard son of pandera the bastard this is quoted by your campus crusade yeah. the leader of the campus crusade no very bright no 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 Or by josh mcdowell uh, no, yeah. josh mcdowell is caught quoting from the jewish talmud okay. that this is what the jews say that he is the bastard child of mary raped by a roman soldier and gave off as the son of god the christians they say that because he had got no earthly father his father is god so we are told this is no they are both going to extremes the jew is going to extreme telling the jew don't go to extremes in your religion you christians don't go to extremes in your religion the true position is that is a mighty messenger of god he was born miraculously we are made to accept that i think you know the quran tells us that he was born miraculously which many modern day christians including the bishops of the anglican church they don't believe today in the miraculous birth of jesus we believe and that he gave life to the dead by god's permission he healed those born blind and the lepers by god's permission so look, this is the true position he is the word of god he is the spirit from god but he is not god don't go to extremes you don't go to extremes you jews you don't go to extremes this is the true position this is our standpoint so we are told and this language of the quran is militant see this is not soft soaping say so you know uh please you christians don't interfere with us you know we pray five times a day and we don't drink and we don't gamble and we fast for whole month you know leave us alone in peace no 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 we are told to tell you mm. you jews and christians don't go to extremes in your religion and don't say anything about god except what is befitting the truth so islam is a militant religion the quran is a militant book but when you say aggressive i think that term is not called for that's all okay militant okay militant yes islam is militant it tells you it tells me to tell you wala taqulu thalasa don't say trinity no this is the language of the quran telling me to tell you don't say trinity wala taqulu thalasa in tahu khair lakum this is stop it it will be better for you inna allahu ilah wahid for your god is one god he is not three in one so we are told what to tell you this is not out of trying to be different from you or trying to score points on you this is an article of faith with us that we are supposed to tell you rectify you don't talk about trinity don't say that jesus is god you're going to go to hell the quran says so you will go to hell <laughs> so it is my duty if I, my people didn't do it if they didn't do it we are at fault we haven't done the job but when i see what i see and i understand very very you know so so succinctly put we have to share but in the process